Hey everybody, The Real Martian here. Well, uh, the cold weather continues to take its toll on us, uh, both mentally uh, as well as physically. Got some long days here. Um, we had a power outage today. Uh, I have the system, Habitat 1 is wired for a generator, uh, but we haven't been able to buy it yet. We have one up at the house in case we really need to put it out here. Luckily, uh, the uh, power company was able to get power back on. We have a grid tide system, in case you're wondering. We actually don't use batteries. Um, right now, that's a good thing since the solar panels are uh, not working at their full potential uh, due to all the reasons that you guys have been commenting on the, the post. But we really suffered a big hit last night. Uh, it got so cold that we lost our crops. Uh, we don't know the full extent of the crop loss, but uh, let me show you what uh, a frozen vegetable looks like. Uh, this right here is broccoli and kind of see how it kind of just flops. Uh, it's wilted. And what that means is that uh, the water that was inside of it froze and uh, ruined the cellular structure. You can't really freeze live things and then thaw them. They don't thaw all that well. It gets kind of messy. Uh, so yeah, it's, uh, it's very disappointing. The propane solution uh, that I previously posted about, uh, meaning we run it in cycles. Let me show you some more stuff while I talk here. That's ice. Uh, I, th I think in theory, well definitely in practice, putting a propane heater in here works. It heats it up really, really fast. The problem is consumption rate. Um, with the smaller area that we've made with the tents in here, uh, the tents being all the fabric going all the way across, um, we have a fan. Fan blows the air, so we do have circulation in here. Um, with that set up, the propane heater will work. It definitely works. I ran it as an emergency, emergency situation, but ah, it's so cold my mouth won't work. Um, and it's just about consumption rate. It consumes about six pounds of propane per hour on its medium setting, which is where I put it at. Uh, that, depending on how many cycles I would need to do per day, we're looking at up to 20 pounds of propane per day. Uh, at a dollar uh, of propane, a uh, dollar per pound, which is really, really low for propane, uh, you're, you're looking at being over you know, $20 a day, uh, and then you have all of the days of the month that you're gonna be running this, uh, so you're looking at significant costs to keep those propane heaters running, even if you're going cycling. I'm not done yet, I'm not willing to give up. Uh, I am a persistent, stubborn-headed uh, guy. Uh, I will figure out something. Uh, I'm gonna go back to the thermodynamic uh, model that I have and see uh, what it says I can do, uh, what I can get away with on these really, really cold nights. So um, the thermal model I made, uh, it seemed to work really good actually. It was within just a few degrees of predicting everything, but I didn't run it down to negative Fahrenheit. I only took it down to about eight Fahrenheit outside. Um, that requires the stove to be running all the time, by the way, and the stove, uh, I got it up to speed. It was running uh, throughout the night, but it did burn itself out. So essentially we need to treat this whole system kind of like having a kid. Um, yeah, newborn, you know, you bring it home, you're up with it all night long, feeding, carrying, burping, uh, changing diapers. Uh, this system is kind of the same way. This is further evidence of why the wood heating solution is not the long-term solution. Basically burning anything isn't really a long-term solution uh, unless we produce all that gas locally, which we want to, that's why we have a digester, but again, it's turned off for the season since we have a loading problem with that. <sighs> it's very, very frustrating. Um, Mrs. Marsh and I are both extremely frustrated at this particular failure, uh, but this is that time when we just have to pick our heads up and uh, keep moving forward. Um, even though it is frustrating, we believe there's a silver lining here somewhere, we just need to find it. So a little more work on the propane equations, uh, seeing what that consumption rate looks like, seeing what the price of propane is. Certainly it's a viable option. It's just a matter of can we afford it. Uh, so we'll be following up with that in uh, future episodes.
Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. Really appreciate everything you guys have uh, been doing for us. Uh, watching, subscribing, supporting through Patreon, supporting the GoFundMe account. Really am thankful. And I hope that by watching these episodes, you guys are getting uh, value out of it. Uh, certainly keep the ideas coming. Uh, keep the collaboration going. Really appreciate that. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, uh, this is fun. Uh, even though this is really frustrating, this particular failure uh, is, is going to be painful to overcome. Uh, we'll see what we can do. So stay tuned. Keep those ideas coming. This is The Real Martian. Out.